Welcome back to the Cape Chronicle. I'm Alex Gasser. Joshua Robinson joins us in the studio to share some of the activities the Riverfront Fall Festival holds in store. Joshua, welcome. Yes, Alex, thanks for having me. Yeah. So the Riverfront Fall Festival is October 19th. Uh, it'll be the third year we're having it. Uh, so we're gonna kick off around 11 a.m. Uh, music will start around 11.30 with Steve Schaffner and the Jumper Cables. They'll kick us off and then we've got Trying to Evan Webb, the Fault Line Band, Jarek Stone, and Ivis John Band. I know Ivis is a big popular, so he'll finish us off that that day. Uh, and then also we've got different kids activities as well as the beer garden. We'll have all the breweries downtown will be there as well as Knights of Columbus. So they'll be, you know, helping everyone getting the the vibe for the the fall, and so that'll be good. So it should be a good good day. Awesome. So where exactly does the fall festival take place? So we will be downtown, the kind of, I guess, center point or mecca of it will be the Kellerman lot downtown on Water Street. Uh, our stage will be there as well as the beer garden. All the food trucks will kind of be on Water Street in front of the lot. Uh, all of our vendors will stretch from Broadway down to Independence on water. And then we'll have some stuff on the river side of the wall as well for kids activities and stuff like that. We're partnering with the uh, Discovery Playhouse as well as well as Trail of Tears is going to have some stuff out in there, more conservation stuff. I think they're going to do some like fishing stuff or something like that. So it should be a good, good time for everybody. Awesome. Um, I think is the Riverfront Market also happening that day too? Yes. So it's just going to be yeah. basically you want to be downtown. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, some of their vendors are, are going to vend at the Fall Festival, but then also anyone who didn't want to vend at the Fall Festival or just want to do them that morning, they'll be over at the Riverfront Market. So it should be a good time to be downtown. You can start over there early and come <laughs> work your way more downtown or farther downtown to the Fall Festival. So it should be a good uh, good, mo good morning and to the evening and afternoon. So it should be good. So how long does the event last? Because it sounds like you have lots of bands. <laughs> and so it sounds like basically you could make a full day. Yes, of <laughs> yeah. So we start, start at 11, then we go to about 6 o'clock. Oh, wow. Um, okay. But, you know, depending on how many people are around, we may go later, but we're trying to be wrapped up at 6, you know, because it'll be a, a long day for all of our volunteers and staff, but it should be good for everybody. Are you still looking for volunteers? We are. If anyone's interested, they can check us out at visitcape.com. We've got the Riverfront Fall Festival on our homepage there, so we've got a volunteer form and all that stuff on that page. So. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and so you said this is your third year doing mm -hmm. it. Has it just gotten bigger and bigger each year? It has. We've expanded more just with getting some more popular bands and stuff like that. We, you know, I think the first year it was, you know, a little bit smaller. It's kind of grown the last two, you know, the last couple of years. So we're hoping this will this will be a good one for sure. Awesome. Are there any other cool things that are coming up with Visit Cape in October? Um, October we've got I'm trying to. Think. I know next weekend we do have something coming up actually. It's the Need for Speed is a car show uh, for a bunch of exotic cars coming out of St. Louis. It's an exotic car club that we reached out to and got them to come down. So they're actually going to be down uh, next Friday and Saturday and doing the car show on Saturday. So it should be good. Awesome. Yeah, it sounds like you guys have just had a ton of different events yes. that have come lately. And yes, so. we've had a couple. It's kind of, kind of slowing down. We had the Corvette Caravan a couple weeks ago, which was really big and nice to see. We had 600 Corvettes in town, so that was good. But, wow. you know, it's kind of we're getting more on the slower part of it before we start picking back up again for next year. So <laughs> it'll be fun. <laughs> So um, why why fall festival? Just great time of year to have things. Or? Yeah, it's just a good time of year. I know there really hasn't been something like that community wide recently. I know Parks and Rec kind of does their their own stuff and stuff like that. Um, you know, and just with shipyard kind of going away for the time being. You know, still having a festival in town for people to come listen to some good music and check out some vendors and food and beer. So it's kind of you know we wanted to keep that going for all that. So it's kind of you know, why we just chose fall and it's usually nice, nice weather. So yeah, I'm crossing my fingers for you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so you, I know you said lots of different vendors. What are some of the vendors that folks can expect or that you've had in the past that, um, um oh Lord, I'm trying to remember all the vendors we've had. <laughs> That's probably the one in a million question. Yeah, yeah. No, we've had so many. I know there's a handful from the riverfront market. So some of the mainstays there will be vending. I think we've got a couple different vendors. We've got ones that, 
do woodworking, ones that sell little soaps or sell different like tie-dye stuff, stuff like that. So we definitely have anything and everything for people to come certainly check out vendor-wise. So. If folks are wanting to vendor, are, you do, are there still vendor spots available? So unfortunately we are full. Okay, all right, we, well that's a great problem the, to have. Yes, <laughs> I mean, for me it's great, but you know, we still get people calling call and emailing me and I'm like, I'm sorry, we're, we're full. <laughs> so. <laughs> So next year, yes, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Reach out next year, please. And I'm always like early spring, early, earlier the better for that. So. Well, perfect. Um, is there anything else that you want to share about the, the event that folks can look forward to? So it should be a good event for all, everyone, all family, all family oriented, stuff like that. We'll have a, I think we we'll, should have a kid co kid costume contest as well as pet costume contest. Oh, so fun. Okay. Anyone for their actual babies and fur babies. Yep. <laughs> they can all participate. Um, and then also we'll have, should have face painting, stuff like that. Um, and so it should be a fun day and afternoon. Awesome. All right. So where do they go to get more information about this event, timing of all of the bands and, and that good kind of so, stuff? So kind of multiple places. So visit okay. cape.com. You can check the that out. We've got a Riverfront Fall Festival page there as well. And then just our Riverfront Fall Festival Facebook page. Okay. So it should be good. Awesome. And mm -hmm. what are some of the bands that are coming again? We've got Ivis John, Evan Webb, Jarek Stone, as well as the Fault Line Band. So it should be good. Awesome. And again, you're still looking for volunteers. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. We're still looking for volunteers. No vendors, but volunteers, yes. All right. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate you. I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, mm -hmm. I'll be down at the market and so oh, excited to spend some time down there at the yeah. festival as well. Well, it should so, be good. Yeah. Um, and also excited here that all of the local breweries are going to be mm -hmm. at, a fest at the festival too. Yep. So I love yeah. that local is staying yeah. local <laughs> definitely definitely we definitely try to keep everything local for sure awesome